All right, this is a 19, I believe 97, might be a 96 or thereabouts. Um, Palm Harbor, uh, I think it's a 44 foot long, but it might be a little shorter than that. I'll have to double check that. Anyway, um, it's in the process of being taken down right now. It's vinyl sided. The vinyl siding isn't perfect. Some of that is just marks on there, but some of that is holes. Um, you got a little crack there, you got a little hole there. That looks like a mark, but um, screen there in the master bedroom needs fixed. Uh, the home siding needs to have about a quarter of it changed, but if it, we had to take the end off, both ends, so a person could take those pieces that are on the ends, make the repairs on the rest of it, and then uh, just put a new vinyl siding onto the end so you don't have to change all of it. A little bit of heat warp on that piece right there, I have no idea from what. Little blems, but those aren't mostly holes. So this is the living room windows. And another little hole there. There's a spot above the light, you can see the uh, little chip in the in the uh, uh, eave soffit there uh, it does have continuous uh, or not continuous it has rain gutters front and back but the rain gutters are spliced um, serviceable but another little bend in the bottom of the screen here this is I'll call this one bedroom number two and going around the back side of the house or the side of the house you got the bathroom number two window there it does have long overhangs on the front and the rear and six inch ones on the side Palm Harbor built a pretty decent house um, the bedroom number three window faces the back opposite the front door side and they have they have an air conditioner in that room um, but there was broken glass here on the ground when I took it down so I think I'm not sure what they did it was just that's a mess anyway there's a the kitchen window dining room window some a uh, little bit of damage on a piece Actually, both of those little holes are on the same piece, so that's good. But it does have a few little pieces of damage. There's another one in the utility room, outside the utility room wall. There is the utility room door. And the nice thing about having a utility room door, oh, well, there's a kink in the rain gutter up there right above the dining room window, I think. Not a bad one. Still seems to be fast and drain. It's just cosmetic. It's nice having the utility room out at the end of the house because if a person wanted to, they could put a uh, garage and add it on to the house. A couple of a GFI there. Uh, this is a small window to the um, master bath. And going around, we'll go on inside. They've replaced the floor uh, covering with these little tiles. And I apologize, it's kind of dark. It's getting dark here. So I'll probably have some problem focusing until I open up some windows. But this is the living room. This is the kitchen. Dining room. That's a little better. There's the kitchen. Fridge is serviceable. Those are the uh, asphalt shingles off the marriage line of the roof. Has a glass top stove. Fridge is 
old but in good condition. There's the pantry there. The utility room back here. Now the utility room has a spot here where the rain got beat down against there and it caused a little tiny soft spot right there. Not a big one. Not even one you'd have to fix, just it's there. Um, we did take the rain gutters down. The siding's all inside. The siding is all labeled so they're easy to put back together. Uh, you can see there was a uh, they removed the trim around the, um, uh, around the edge of the bottom of the floor. Um, little nail pop there. That stuff happens. This flooring was put over the top of the other flooring, so I suspect the white vinyl goes on right on into the kitchen underneath this. Don't know if that's glued down or not, but it's not particularly great. And that has a line on it there on the floor. It's not on the marriage line of the house. So, needs floor coverings. Nice kitchen. Huge kitchen, really. It's a good layout. Um, has some dings in the back of the door. This is the uh, coat closet. It's got a ding on the back of that door. That's a flat door. The, uh, some of the doors have been changed to six panel doors. I'm going to have to open this up. Got a little broken piece of this blind here. And it looks like there might be condensation inside that window. Master bedroom has a big walk-in closet. As opposed to bedroom number three, which has the smallest walk-in closet I've ever seen. Now that is missing a door on the master bedroom closet. Master bedroom is good size. nice countertop and nice upgraded um, mold, molded shaped, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, molded shaped uh, dressers. The house has been winterized, there's the top for it. Former owner is an engineer, he does a good job, so I trust his winterization. It's got a built-in uh, utility or a thing there. Bathtubs are one piece. Everything in here is in good condition in the bathroom. Going down, looking through the house, through the living room, which is actually a good sized living room. This is Palm Harbor style thing they've got here little offset hallway leading down to bedrooms number two and three and bathroom number two. Now, bedroom number two, I think, is a little bit bigger. We managed to catch the door here because when we split it and started jacking it, I didn't realize the door was still hooked on. So, that needs to be fixed. It has two door jams there. Again, they have changed some doors. This cut line was my bad. We thought that the marriage line where was where the marriage line was not, so... It just needs to be repaired. Um, overhead lights in the bedrooms. A little bit of condensation in that uh, window as well. It does have, that's a shelf that came out of the bedroom that I need to take out of the bedroom closet there. It does have some Owens Corning uh, shingles. A couple of those are used, but there's a batch of new shingles there um, that will fit the uh, roof, the original. This door is missing. Here's where we were trying to find our marriage line, but it's not there. Um, I would change the carpets throughout. Yeah, see the marriage line was four inches over and I thought it was on the inside here, but it wasn't. Uh, some of the doors have been changed, some haven't. This door in bedroom number three is original, has a hole down there. There's that, uh, this is the window that has the missing, or that's been plexiglassed in, and it's a smaller bedroom. It's still probably 10 by 11 feet. And you can see that's the, I have no idea what they did there, but I think the air conditioning had something to do with that. Has the world's smallest walk-in closet. 
you got one hanging thing there. Well, this is a, that's okay. You got about three foot walk-in closet on that side and about 28 or 32 inches on that side and then the water heater. Um, so again, this door needs to be replaced. Bathroom number two. It's also nice, although I would change the floor coverings because it didn't do the greatest job on those. Bathroom, bath number two. It does have a crack in the ceiling. Um, just they had a tendency to crack from time to time after been sitting about eight or ten years. Um, other than that, everything's in good shape. Two by six walls and has a crack in the back of the door. So this house needs floor coverings, paint, um, a little bit of vinyl siding, and probably what, three or four interior doors. They had drapes over the top of that. They still have little holes. So when a person is uh, making some patches and things, they can fix those. Yeah, that hole there is because the house is, you know, in two pieces and all. Good size dining room. Um, the pantry is missing shelves. There's a spot for shelves, but there's no shelves unless somebody was, you know, making their stairway to heaven in there. And I don't think that's what was going on. There's the original linoleum in this aftermarket stuff they put on. There is still some pieces of that aftermarket stuff, but I'm pretty sure the whole thing needs to just, you know, get yanked up and then go away. All right, that's this house, Palm Harbor. Thank you very much.